Hey guys, it's Becky from Babes in Hairland. Today we're going to share with you this pretty hairstyle that is double French rope twists that we did on B clear back in 2011 when she was in preschool. It is a style that continually gets repinned and continually is asked how we did it because we didn't do a tutorial. So today we're going to share with you our actual how-to video. So begin by making a ponytail off on the side and then part out a section of hair. Um, clear down to the ear. I made a side part and then down to the left ear. This is exactly opposite of how I did it for her back in um, preschool. So either side you prefer, it doesn't matter. So once you have this whole section divided off and the ponytail made, then divide this in half. I find it helps to put a little clip on one of the sections. You can start in the front or the back one, it doesn't matter. But I started on the back. Okay, so divide this section in half, pass the left one over the right, and again, and then you're going to drop that piece and grab some hair and add it, and then pass it over, then drop it, and then you're going to add a section of hair to the piece you're dropping. Um, I did a video on my bangs years ago doing the same technique. That piece of hair you drop, then you're going to add hair to that. Sometimes it's easier for me to use a comb to grab that hair. Other times it's easier with my fingers. Um, I don't like long fingernails and so I have a harder time grabbing hair just with my fingers. That's why a comb comes in handy for me. So um, you just continue this process of adding hair into the piece you drop to make the twist. Okay, once you can no longer add hair to your twist, you're going to just turn this into a regular rope braid or rope twist. And I twist mine to the left and then pass the left strand over the right strand. And you continue this process and that's what gives you the nice twist. You're going to need to twist this and make sure it reaches over to your ponytail. With her shorter hair, we obviously weren't able to have her ponytail quite as far over to the right side um, so that we could ensure that this would reach to the ponytail. But once you have twisted as far down as you um, can and know that it will reach to your ponytail, you're just going to put a clip on the bottom of this to hold it temporarily. temporarily. Okay, back to the front um, and repeat this process. Dividing out that small section um, near the part, dividing it in half, and uh, twisting it, dropping it, adding hair, passing it over, dropping it, adding hair to that, and passing it over. So you'll continue this process all the way down, do the rope twist once you can't add hair any longer, and um, bring them back to the ponytail. Okay, so add a clip to the end of that twist to ensure it doesn't totally unwind. You will need to kind of twist these back in towards the head um, since they do loosen up a bit. And that's what I'm doing here. So you're going to add them to the ponytail. I took the back twist and put it on top of the ponytail and the bottom twist is underneath. And then I'm going to secure those with an elastic. Okay, so back over to her ponytail, we decided to wrap it instead of adding a bow to the top of it like we did years ago. So just grab out a small section of hair, wrap it around the base of your ponytail. It helps if the hair is wet or you use product to um, keep this nice and smooth. And then wrap it around and secure it with an elastic to the ponytail so that you cover that elast that all the elastics and um, ponytail holder. And once we were done wrapping the ponytail, we added a little bit of curl to it um, so it just wasn't straight, it was kind of loose wave, just added some texture to it. So that's it. Please like it, subscribe, check us out on babesinhairland.com, tag us in all your photos on Instagram at babesinhairlandblog. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.